Hello again, it's Lock Noob, and today we're going to look at a, um, a, a lockpick set. It's made in China, and I, I wanted to look at this because I just really like the idea of these kind of metal aluminium uh, anodized handles. Now, it's safe to say that I'm not really just reviewing one set here, I'm reviewing a number of sets, all made by the same company and then rebranded by various other companies. Uh, this particular one um, is in a very nice uh, box with lots of foil printing on. Uh, the company is Best Got, or at least that's their shop. But uh, in the UK, I think I've seen it under Lobo Idea and all sorts of other brands as well. So even though I'll leave a link below, shop around. Um, clearly this set is made in a particular place and then people buy it and rebrand it and resell it. That's what I think is happening. I could be wrong. Anyway, what do you get? Well. Bear in mind, this cost me about 25 UK pounds, somewhere around 30 US dollars. You get um, a box with your pick set and a couple of practice locks, which we'll look at in a second. Um, we get a, a card inside, which um, is all right. It, it tells you sort of what the tension wrench is. It's got half diamonds. Um, the rack. Hmm. City rake, I think they mean. Um, oh, yeah, this, this, the racking. Yeah, so, okay, clearly it's not been proofread very well. Um, and, and some, you know, sort of vaguely okay-ish instructions with a pick, feel around for the weirdest pin. I mean, yeah, okay, maybe, maybe let's, let's ignore that. Let's ignore that. You know, if you're going to, there's plenty of books out there uh, for, for beginner lock pickers. The Super one's pretty good. Um, Deviant Olive's one's really good. We, we don't need a, a badly spelt and confusing card. Right, let's move that out of the way. So what? let's have a look at the locks you get with them. Um, the, bear in mind, this is clearly a beginner set, isn't it? What do we get? Okay, so we get a, a Yale, quite a wide, but a Yale-ish style keyway, five pins. Ah, looks like different bittings with different sides. That's quite nice. Always good to have different bittings on these uh, just for practice, although, I think uh, and a lot of us would say that these plastic practice locks are good for learning where your position is on, on in a lock and to see how locks work. But really, uh, they don't hold up to a lot of um, uh, picking because, of course, you've got metal parts on plastic parts and they just wear out. So, um, yeah, I mean, I, I'd have nothing against these at all because they are very good for beginners uh, and actually good for demonstrating to people how the internals work. I still use them on my channel now and again to uh, to make videos with. And then, of course, we've got the classic padlock. I absolutely love this. It's a, it's a, I, I know that they're all cheap and pretty awful in some ways, but, you know, I, I learnt um, how locks work from one of these little plastic padlocks. And they're great for demos and great for people to, you know, break a lock open and get that satisfaction without having to build up any skill. Um, the only danger is, as we mentioned earlier, that people don't think that this is anything like picking a real lock. But yeah, these these aren't bad versions. The plastic is nice and clean. I like that. So, you know, we're not going to be demoing with these uh, locks for this kit. But um, yeah, they're, they're pretty nice, all in all. Um, and these are around five to ten pounds per thing, depending where you buy them, whether we bother to wait uh, six months for them to be delivered from China or not. So, you know, that's it's, it's nice that they threw these in. But now let's go on to the main thing or we'll move the whole box out of the way. Even though it has some nice foil sort of printing on it, it doesn't add a lot of value to the video. And have a look at the pick set. And here we go. And I can see why this keeps popping up. Um, on various uh, resellers because uh, it just looks nice. Um, let's grab what well, looks quite like quite a nice hook. I've read somewhere that these are 301 stainless. Um, I have no reason to doubt it, uh, but I don't know its actual thickness. I'm hoping it'd be around 25 thousandths. Um, be disappointed if it's over that really, but you know, we'll see. Let's have a look. So first of all in millimeters, Ooh, that's looking quite big, 30 thousandths. So that's a pretty, 0.76 mils, that's 078 mils. Yeah, that's um, that's quite chunky. Let's grab another one and like, let's grab this um, half snowman ball rake. 
yeah they're all they're all really thick is that a problem uh, i mean it limits you to the types of locks that you're going to be picking obviously you've got tight keyways that's going to be a problem but for those uh plastic locks which you just saw it's fine um but it's not ideal i mean they're going to be strong and hardy and um, from what i can tell from my investigations these do appear to be a stainless steel uh albeit a bit thick um but the shanks to be fair the shanks are quite thin so that will make up for it a little bit they're not too tall here um so what do we get so let's have a look here we get uh three hooks one of them is slightly different to the others can you tell which um and they appear quite nice. You've got a sort of a short hook, a short medium, and a, again, a short to medium hook, but this one has a little notch on the top. Uh, just in the middle, you can see that they've cut a groove dead center. Um, not bad, actually. Uh, I mean, I know why they made it gold. This is their zero one. And they, in some of the marketing online, they kind of make a big deal about this being the zero pick and it you know, helps you locate where you are on the on the pins and stuff, but it's, it's just a, a nice um, center notched pick. Um, nothing particularly wrong with them, just what it is. And yeah, it's uh, they're quite nice handles. They, they feel quite light. I imagine that the pick material only goes in as far as about the rivets are, maybe a little bit further, but you know, I imagine that that'll hold up quite well especially the thickness of the material it should be fine i would say um and they are actually quite comfortable one thing it does say is that it's got these ridges on for grip in some of the material online but i mean most people will hold a pick like this not like that so i don't really know how much use that would be and these are a bit the grips a bit too far back for when you're um are picking downwards it's okay but it really needs to be more towards the front for if you're going to be pushing down on the the pick to pick pins down but yeah i mean not too bad like i said the profiles pretty nice um do we have any deeper hooks no we don't so we've got some sort of shallow to medium hooks not bad that's what you get that's what you use the most um then we've got some let's just say half diamondy type things the best i can say so we've got an actual small half diamond i don't hate that that's fine but this is weird it's 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 not peaked enough to be a single peak rake or a medium half diamond and hasn't got enough bumps on it to be particularly useful as anything else and it's very thick compared to the others shank wise yeah i don't really know what that is uh various rakes so we've got a very shallow city rake um not enough peaks and troughs i mean I, I'm not convinced by that. I might get an open on a lock, but it just looks miscut, I'll be honest. Um, a flag may be useful for lifting sliders, but it's just way, way, way too thick for getting past. And look how thick that is. Uh, pins and dimple locks, I wouldn't even try. Uh, a kinetic rake actually might be quite good. We'll try that on a, a little master lock in a minute. Then some ball type rakes these are actually probably very useful if you like your ball rakes and you pick a lot of wafer locks these are actually probably very useful because they're pretty nice profiles and they're ball rakes and they're going to be using wafer locks which have very wide keyways so you're going to be fine what else do we have here ah some automotive rakes here so um i suppose you use these on little filing cabinet locks as well nothing wrong with that or uh, some car door locks might give those a go in a minute as a bit of a demo and then um the bit which i'm probably the least impressed about is the selection of tension tools these are more like dimple for for wafer locks card door locks and things wow that is, that's that's really stiff um and then these are more like i mean they go into those very wide open keyways but they're not very good for your standard type locks where you just want a piece of bent wiper blade uh, but for the sake of the review I'm going to try to use these uh, because you know we don't use anything outside this kit um, not great though but again I, I do use them but not in like pin tumblers um, well you know standard pin tumblers using dimple locks then one of these weird things I've never found a, a use for 
Um, that would need to be heavily modified and chisel tipped to be any use as a dimple pick and it's only one sided. So um, yeah, I'm just not even going to bother with this. I'd, I'd say for, for things like this, unless you're going to heavily modify it, just not really worth doing anything with at all. Okay, right, let's uh, do a quick demo of a couple of these uh, profiles and we'll see where we get to. So the first thing I want to try is one of the hooks and I've chosen this one because it's quite a nice profile actually. If it wasn't so thick, if that's 25 thousandths, um, that would be pretty nice, but it's just a little bit too thick. So I've chosen a very tight keyway on a little five pin lock. It's got some spools in it. Uh, it should be a fun little pick. And to be fair, one of the tension tools does fit in it, albeit that I wish it was um, a wiper blade, so the angle would be more like that. I rest my finger outside the lock rather than over at the bottom here, which just isn't as comfortable. Nevertheless, we'll give it a go. And I'll click on four, three, two, one, and we're open. So, I mean, it does work. I am familiar with, with this lock, but the feedback's pretty good. They're not bad, it's quite comfortable. Um, let's have a look at the finish on there. Yeah, it's, it's, it's okay. It's, it's actually been rounded off, which is better than I was expecting. But yeah, you can use it out of the pack. Not too bad, I guess. I'm kind of curious about this kinetic type rake for zipping attacks. I mean, there's a lot of metal in this tip, so it's only going to work in particularly wide keyways, but I've got a little master lock three here, so uh, let's give that a go. Second strike, not too bad. I mean, yeah, if you're going to have a, like a tighter keyway, that just wouldn't work, but it is pretty strong and I imagine it would last quite a while if you're going to use that type of attack. So yeah, hard to hard to say too many bad things about this. This is a horribly misshapen uh, city rake. We'll give it a go I, on a lock, which again, I know I can pick with a city rake quite easily. Um, I might be able to get this anyway, just because I'll be able to rock the pins, but it's not very efficient. Um, yeah, I've got it. Did it work? Yes. Did it work because it's a good rake? No, it didn't. I mean, look at that profile. And I've got a car cylinder here, which uh, does open up. There you go, with that key. Um, yeah, and we're going to try it with the Y wrench, which is here, which is very strong. So just have to squeeze it in, pop it like that and then that tension, then use the um, the rake and see whether we can coax it. Ah, open, there we go. So it does work. So what do I think to a kit like this? Well, long story short, it's a classic case where you get what you pay for. It's neither sort of good nor bad. Um, let's concentrate on the good things first. Okay, so it's 25 pounds, which is very much in that budget pick set uh, category um, for sort of what you get. It does come with a couple of practice plastic locks, which aren't bad. They're, they're, I've seen worse quality ones. These aren't too bad. Uh, the finish on the picks is actually pretty nice for what you get. They're a bit thick, but the profiles are, are nice for the, the hooks and the diamonds and the ball rates in particular. Um, I think that the handles are let's be honest they're quite smart and uh, i'm on the edge of thinking whether i make my own uh pick tips out of some metal i have uh, take out these rivets and just put in some um uh, brass or steel rod in its place and epoxy it all back together just you know because the handles they look quite nice i'm not gonna lie i do like them i know they're not everybody's cup of tea but i think they're pretty smart um so yeah, not bad finishes, some good profiles, nice looking handles, very light um, in the hand because it's aluminium this side, steel that side. You get a couple of uh, uh, locks. So again, focusing on the positive, who would I recommend a kit like this for? Well, niche use cases. I would say if you wanted something that looked nice, maybe to somebody who you might think could be interested in trying a bit of lock picking as a bit of a curiosity, maybe see if they're interested in the hobby, maybe they'd like engineering and, and locks and things like that and just want to play around. It's, 
not a bad gift actually. Um, and actually, maybe even for yourself, if you were curious about lock picking, but didn't want to spend a lot of money, wanted a, through lock, wanted a few locks thrown in there as well. It's not too bad. Um, I'm just trying to think who else that might be useful for. Uh, that's about it really. You know, curious beginners who might not want to go much further with the sport or maybe it's a, a gift or an executive toy um, for somebody who um, might have a mild curiosity in lock picking. Um, and yes, they are usable. So there you go, that's that's the positive side, negative sides. Um, just not enough tension tools, the ones which were provided because they're Z wrenches better used in things like dimple locks with the uh, sideways keyways um, and wafer locks. They're not bad, they work, they're not bad, but they're just by no means good and certainly not what we go for. You, you want to go for more your kind of standard um, uh, bent wiper blade type ones like this, which are just a lot more useful. Um, but, you know, you can pick some locks with these and I suppose that is a, a thing. The um, That Y wrench tool is uh, very stiff and very situational, um, but I suppose it's okay. But yeah, um, another bad thing about it is whatever this is, it's not even worth really mentioning. Um, whilst finish on the picks is pretty good, I would say that once you get past the ball rakes here, it starts to become a little less coherent like these uh, automotive wafer rakes sort of work, but why only two? And if you're only gonna put two in, why wouldn't you have a medium hook and a deep hook in their place? It would make the kit a better kit. It's not neither an automotive kit, nor is it um, an all round kit. It's, it doesn't know what it is, that's what I'd say. Um, some of the profiles are just unusable in the uh, format that they are, like these ones. I mean, that city rake is, is so poorly cut. This flag isn't any good for sliders or dimple locks just because it's so thick and, and that's just, I don't know, you know, know what it's trying to be. It's just a thing. Um, but, you know, I'd say about, yeah, three fifths of the picks are actually pretty good and then it gets slightly wonky further towards this way you go. Um, so is it is it bad? No. Is it good? No. Uh, would I recommend to somebody who's into you know lock picking or has tried lock picking picking before and is like, wants to get a, a, a first good set? No, I, in fact, I, I'd suggest somebody going to get a smaller, higher quality set for twice the price um, because it's going to be, just be better, get you in some more locks, have a, a, a better range of lock picks for a lock sport, lock sporter or beginner lock picker, um, rather than something like this. But then again, I do see the uh, the the reason why some people would buy this and I think if you did buy this you'd be able to enjoy picking some of the locks um, and a few uh, uh, more simple locks as well you only need to drop 25 quid to get a couple of practice locks with it like I said you get what you pay for so there you go I wouldn't recommend it to people who are really serious about lock picking but if you were a beginner or buying for um, somebody who you know um, may or may not be into lock picking after giving it a go it's not a terrible set either for the money I guess it's over to you. What do you think to this? Um, no doubt some of you watching this have even purchased this or used one in the past. What do you think? Let, let me know in the comments. Do you think I've been fair about it? Do you think I've been too fair about it? Um, do let me know. I'll read all the comments or reply to as many as I can. If you like this video, want to see more videos like this, then just leave a like. And of course, if you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so because it really helps my channel out. Right, I think that's it. And I'll see you all next time.